ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Thursday, April 28th, three games late, NBA playoffs, Luke is back, um, I, I'm pretty sure, let me, I'm pretty sure that Luke is a must play, Chris Paul to me is a must play, because he can get a lot of his fantasy points without scoring, and if he scores, that's a plus, I think I've been saying that the last few slates. Harden is trash, McCollum is fine. Van Vliet, if he plays, I think Toronto. I think Toronto's actually gonna beat Philly. Um, Harden is washed. Ari's hurt. Ari's hurt, but I'm leaning towards Wash. He was never that athletic to begin with, so um, all that uh, ring around the road that he he used to do, we ain't seeing that of that anymore. So. Um, Harden's neutralized. That affects Maxi. Maxi's not going to be as open as he was um, first first few games. So I like Luca. I like Paul. I like McCullum. I like Van Fleet. I even like Brunson better than I like Harden and Maxi. I don't like Dinwiddie. I like Clarkson. You know, I'm gonna stop at Clarkson. Um, campaign again with 12 minutes. I'm not playing campaign that plays 12 minutes. I'm not taking a, I'm not taking a chance on him. Yeah, he could play a little bit more, but he could also play a little bit less. I'm good. Ingram, Ingram is, Ingram is priced less than Harden. Listen, Harden can give you 18 assists and give you a good fantasy game, but you know you're paying 9K. You're looking for 54 fantasy points. You're looking for 45 fantasy points minimum. He could probably give you exactly 45 fantasy points. He's not really shooting. Um, he's not taking a lot of threes like he used to. He's not getting to the foul line. He's not playing um, James Harden ball, so he's useless. Um, where are we? Um, Mitchell. Mitchell is hurt. He's useless also. It sucks when players are hurt and they hide their injuries and we play them thinking that we're going to get, you know, the, the, the full repertoire and the full fantasy points and the full potential out of our players and we get 13 fantasy points. I'm over this playoff series, this, this, this playoff season already. I'm over it. Um, Mitchell hamstring and quads practice said he's good to go. Yeah, all right. He said he, he's good to go, and when you get that notification that he's going to the locker room, yeah, your night's over. Yeah, all right. Um, OG, Gary Trent, all in play. Clarkson, like I said before. Shamit, 25 minutes. He's trash. Very poor fantasy producer. But if you need value, you know, you can play him. Yeah, at least he'll play. B.I., O.G., Trent, Barn, Barnes looks great at 6,200. Mikhail Bridges, um, Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich is okay. Utah's trash. You know, first of all, first of all, when Utah was winning all those games and they were looking like a really good team, they really weren't. They got one all-star they have one decent center. They have they had two shooters and Bogdanovich and Ingles and Mike Conley was a little bit decent. Conley's washed. And then they had Clarkson coming off the bench. So they had a few guys that were, you know, a, a look. They had one guy that was above average and everybody else was just playing over their heads. Utah's trash. Um Finney Smith, no Herbert Jones is in play. Cam Johnson is in play. Jay Crowder, I rather play Kate. I rather play Cam Johnson than Jay Crowder, but Jay Crowder had his moments. Um, no, no, no Thibel because they're in Toronto. Danny Green is still trash, but he's serviceable. Um, if he can get a few stocks, you know, two steals, two blocks, three threes, four threes, a couple rebounds, then he'll pay off his ticket, but. Probability of that is not very high. 
I'm going to probably go Luka and then go mid-range. That's what I'm thinking. That's what it's looking like. Siakam, Tobias Harris. Um, and you know something? Since Harden's been playing mediocre, Harrison's been playing better. 47, 42, 33, 38, 31. He had a bad shooting night. So I don't know what's Philly Philly, I don't know what's going on with Philly, but Philly's trash. Um Siakam, Harris, Barnes and play Herbert Jones, Cam Johnson. And if you're feeling spicy, you could play Jay Crowder. Let's go to center. Embiid, he's hurt. He hasn't been really doing much since he broke his thumb. Um, 47-44-54, which is not that spectacular for 10 point, you know, for for a 10 plus, 10k plus um, salary. So 54 fantasy points is nothing spectacular. 35 and 39. That's that. If you pay 10, 10K and up for MP and he gives you 30, 30 something fantasy points, your night is over. Night, night, don't let the bed bugs bite. Just wrap it up. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm actually fading MP because you, you, you can't do nothing with a broken right thumb. So I'm, I'm fading MP and I live with the results. Eight innings in play. I'd love to pair, pair him with Paul. Colbert's not worth 7,700. He doesn't shoot enough. This is not going to do it. 34, 25, 37, 33. That's not going to cut it. Five shots, six shots, eight shots, seven shots. 11 rebounds, no blocks, no assists. No, no, it's not going to cut it. 7,700. I need 40 fantasy points from you, bro. It's not going to cut it. I'd rather play Valanciunas. He usually gives me a higher probability to... Score points, 17 points, one steal, three assists, 14 rebounds, 42 fantasy points. The game before that, 26 points, four, four assists, 15 rebounds, 15 shots, 11 shots. I'd rather play Valanciunas. Gobert is overrated. Achua, he's going to come off the bench. He'll play like 25 minutes depending on what's going on in the game. 36, 24, 27. <sighs> um, Dwight Powell. If you play Dwight Powell, pair him with Luca. Okay, that's that's his that's the guy he synergizes with. Pretty sure if you if you um if you look it up, you'll see that Powell gets probably more than half his his assist from um Luca. Nobody else don't look for his 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 Nobody else looks for him. He's trash. You understand what I'm saying? Um, he's not playing enough minutes anyway, so no power going on my on my in my lineup. Let's get five guys and let's get out of here. Hold on. Um, so I definitely like Luca, highest projected player of the of the, of the slate by far. I like Chris Paul because I know I can rely on him. I see some. Okay, I can rely on Ingram. I like McCollum. I like Gary Trent. I can rely on him. Probably can rely on. Wait, let's get Barnes in here. You know what he's gonna do? Herbert Jones to save some salary. That's five guys. That's Luca, Gary Trent, Barnes, Herbert Jones, Chris Paul. Probably not gonna be able to play this in the lineup. Cause you only have 39.66 left, but these are definitely five guys that I trust. When you when once you get deeper into the playoffs. And you see how shitty some of these, these players play. You really got to tighten it up. You know what I'm saying? And these five guys I trust. I probably trust like two more. But I don't trust him beat on this slate. I don't trust. Um, I don't trust Mitchell. Absolutely. I'm, I'm fading Harden. Max, he's trash if Harden's not producing. It's like a, it's like a domino effect. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'd rather play Harris. If I'm going to play a sixer, I'd probably play Danny Green for value if, you know, if I needed to. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a tricky slate. Um, all right, on FanDuel, it's 
it's going to be more of the same. Luca's 10, Luca's 11K. Paul is 10K. Obviously, I'm going to take Luca. Um, Van Vliet, if he plays 8K, he's all right. Um, Mitchell's quads and hamstring and all this stuff is, is injured. I don't know how he's a full go. He can't even walk straight. Um, Jalen Brown is okay. Clarkson's okay. No Conley. No Dinwiddie. That's it. Nobody else. Under Clarkson, that's it. Same thing like DraftKings. Harden's 89. Cool. If Harden was 79, I probably still wouldn't play him. Um, McCollum's alright. Trent looks good. Mikhail Bridges. Jordan Clarkson. Danny Green. Because I know he's going to play minutes with no Thibel. Brandon Ingram, Tobias Harris, Scotty Barnes, OG, Bojan, Jay Crowder, and, you know, 1% of your lineups. Cam Johnson, if he starts. And Larry Nance, if you're feeling spicy, that's about it. No Embiid, Embiid at 10K, I'm good. Siakam. But Siakam's all right, but he's inconsistent also. Ingram's all right. Who are we? I don't see anybody else. Herbert Jones. Definitely Herbert Jones for his price. If I'm playing like, you know, 25, 30 lineup, I'll throw Tat Sadie and Shung in here. No problem. Aiton, Fallon Junis, Achua, if you're playing a lot of lineups. That's about it. I'm not taking no chances on these bums. Um, Luca again. Shooting guard. Gary Gary Trent is expensive, sixty eight hundred. Let me hold off on that. Brandon Ingram. Mikael Bridges. Let's do Scotty Barnes. You know what? Let's see Gary Trent. Clarkson is 63. I guess I play Gary Trent. And then I'll round it off with uh Val Junis. 5300 left? Not bad. So I like Luca, Gary Trent, Mikhail Bridges, Scotty Barnes, and Valor Junis on this shitty slate. Um, I don't really like the slate, but you know this is what we do, and we got to make it work. So I'm gonna go Luca and then mid range and hope for the best. So listen, if you're new here, thank you for watching the video. All my regulars, thank you for watching the video. Um, Thanks for subscribing and thanks for hitting the hitting the bell and all that good stuff. I've seen y'all been doing it without me really begging for it, and I really appreciate you guys. And if I sound like um, my demeanor is low, it's because these playoffs is trash. And these players don't play. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.